All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Smith and the Outdoors. Today we have the December LTV. Let's get right into this one. Oh, you see we got some fancy wrapping paper here. Holiday theme. Awesome, awesome. All right, I see a lot of different things in here. All right, so first up we have this G crank. It's a big old crankbait. Depth is three meters. Don't know what that is in feet, but I not a clue what that is. All right, next we have something really cool. Haven't really seen it before. Well, we kind of have, but not in this. We have the garlic scent right there by Liquid Mayhem by Vicious. Vicious, they gave me a really really great uh, what i was trying to say is vicious came in an L went in ltb once and gave me a really awesome lipless crankbait i caught so many fish on it but then casted it off in the lake at this point but this is some garlic scent we'll get more into about it later once we uh, once we look deeply close to the baits all right next here we have the assorted plastics pretty much just black and blue cross you can see over there in the corner all right guys next we have the Corno candle, I think what's they call it, but it's pretty much just a finesse little finesse worm. Next we have the KVD hooks, which is Kevin Van Dam, professional fisherman, arguably one of the best in the world. But these are probably really, really sharp treble hooks right there. Good to have. Next we have Quenzel. You guys can see that there, but I think it's just you put it on your reel and then wipe it off so it protects it from the weather and whatnot. Not too sure, it doesn't say anything on the back, it just says it'll protect your what you're applying it to, but I think it's for your rods and reels so they don't they don't rust out. But that's cool. Now let's get into the baits. Alright, first we have the G the G crank. That is a beastly rattle in there. I don't know if this will be too hot for fall for winter fishing because it's just massive and it dives down deep. So maybe maybe it goes slow. But this that big old big old rattle in there. I don't know if that does anything to the fish, but I mean, I'm assuming it does because LTB knows what they're doing. They're professionals at this stuff, but I, I wouldn't throw this something this big during the winter time. But next, we got this liquid mayhem, the garlic scent. I'm guessing you just put it on your soft plastics, and then the like the scent, the garlic, the fish, the fish will go after it. And it said up there, no fish can resist. Uh, kind of didn't didn't fall into that, but that's pretty cool. We got got some scent. Doesn't feel that heavy, so I don't know what kind of, what like texture paste it is. I don't really want to get it out right now, so that's awesome to have. That'll and if a hard day and you're not catching bass, that'll definitely get you one. Next we have the assorted plastic craws right there. They these little things, the little tentacles or something. They not tentacles, but the little legs they would have on it. They're small for a reason, so they tread water. But it's not all that subtle, but it'll still attract the fish. Because like in fall and wintertime, fish aren't going for them them loud sound baits. Like this one, I don't know if this one's super loud with that rattle, but... But this one just subtly puts out the water and, and you'll be able to get them on this. This is a nice black and blue, works for any time really. You can put this on a jig, you can put this on anything really. Alright, these are the KVD treble hooks. These, if you can see, look on the treble there. It kind of curls in. Some of them go straight up. And this one curls in a little bit. That's just to get so the fish don't get off so much. So when you hook them, they can't slip it off real easily. Like you hook it and it won't get off. That's pretty cool what they did there. I like that. This is a size 4. And I mean if KVD will put his name on these, they got to be good. Alright, last but not least we have this Clensel. I'm pretty sure you just put it on the reels. I'm going to do some research on it later. But pretty sure you put it on the reels before and after. Or probably after you use it. Just to protect it. Or before. I guess, but that's pretty cool. It does not smell good, so if you're getting one of these, do not smell it. Yeah, but that is it. Alright guys, there you have it for the December LTB. Sorry if this video is all over the place. I literally cannot talk today. I don't know why, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and got the lights back up. It looks a lot better than it did last time. You can't really see where the end is, but it's there. It's still not. It's still the same thing. I just... Got an extension cord so I can go all the way through, and they got this got the slammer buck right there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned.